Hey everyone, welcome back to the InfoStreet channel. In today's video, we will cover the quota policy in SAP API management. We will cover what a quota policy is, why it is important and provide a step-by-step -step guide to applying it effectively. So now let's get started. So what is a quota policy? A quota policy is a mechanism to control the number of API calls that a consumer can make within a specified period of time. It can be an hour, a day or a month. It ensures fair usage and prevents system overloading and it is crucial for managing API consumption, preventing abuse and optimizing infrastructure usage. Ok, now that you know what is the quota policy, now let us just see the steps to apply a quota policy. Ok, now let us navigate to the BTP account. Here you need to click on integration suite. Click on configure then APIs. Ok for this session I have already created an API proxy and API provider. Let me just show you the details of API provider. So this is the name of the API provider. Let me go to the connection details. So as you can see the host name is petstore.swagger.io. Let me just navigate to the Petstore Swagger website. So this is the request URL that we will be using in this video. So I have also created an API proxy with the name pet store API. So this the API base path is slash get pet as it is visible here as well in the URL. And the target endpoint is slash v2 slash pet. I have also created a resource with the prefix as slash find my status. Now in order to add the policies click on policies. Now click on edit. Ok now here in the pre-flow section we will be applying the quota policy. So let me just select the quota policy from the traffic management policies. Give a policy name of your choice. So as you can see the flow type is pre-flow. The pre-flow ensures the quota is checked before processing the request. So as you can see here we have got the XML. Ok now let me just take a screenshot of it. And let me just paste it here. So as you can see on my screen, it is one of the method of applying or you can say configuring the quota policy and here we are setting the number of API calls that is allowed for a fixed time duration. So this allow count is equal to 2. It tells that only 2 API call is allowed across all client applications per minute. As you can see in the bottom, the time unit mentioned as minute. So only 2 API calls will be allowed per minute. And the other valid values are hour, days, week and month. So this policy will allow the two API calls in a minute. Now we will click on update. Now click on save. So we need to again deploy the API. So as you can see the API is deployed successfully. Now we will copy this URL. And let us navigate to the postman. Ok 
okay let me just create a new request let me just call it as call pet and we will paste our url now we need to access the resource so we will so i will select this find by status okay now it also requires a parameter so let me just copy the status equal to available and let me just paste it here let me click on save and now click on send so this is the first api call that we have made let me just click on send again so this is the second api call now let us click again so as you can see we have got the 500 internal server error as a response which says that rate limit quota violation quota limit exceeded so this means that our policy is working as expected so apart from the first method of applying the quota policy there is also another method of applying the policy per client application so this is the second method where we apply the quota policy per client application so let me just copy the previous uh, policy code So as you can see here, the identifier has been used for uniquely identifying the client application and the REF attribute is mapped to the client ID of the verify API key policy named verify API key. So this client ID field can be used to uniquely identify the application created by application developer subscribing to an API product in SAP API management. So if your developer creates two application in SAP API management, then each invocation using the application key gets an individual quota of two calls per minute by using the preceding quota policy as you can see here on my screen. Apart from that, you can also apply the quota policy per application developer. And here is the code for applying the quota policy per application developer. Here the developer ID field can be used to uniquely identify the application developer in SAP API management. So as you can see in this scenario, each developer gets an individual quota of 20 calls per day irrespective of number of applications they have created and subscribing to the API product associated with the API proxy. That is for today's video. Today we have learned about the quota policy, its importance and how to configure it in SAP API management. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the InfoStreet channel. Stay tuned for more SAP integration suite and SAP API management content. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.